The Power of Self-Discipline by Peter Hollins is a comprehensive guide that explores the importance of self-discipline in achieving personal and professional success. The book presents practical exercises and strategies to develop self-control, build good habits, and overcome the challenges that often lead to giving up. Hollins emphasizes that self-discipline is not a trait one is born with but rather a skill that can be cultivated through consistent practice. By following the five-minute exercises laid out in the book, readers can harness the power of self-discipline and transform their lives for the better. Chapter 1, The Art of Developing Self-Discipline In this chapter, Hollins introduces the concept of self-discipline and highlights its significance in achieving goals. He explains that self-discipline is the ability to control one's impulses emotions, and desires in order to stay focused on long-term objectives. The chapter provides an overview of the benefits of self-discipline and lays the foundation for the exercises and strategies presented throughout the book. Chapter 2, The Role of Habits in Self-Discipline Collins delves into the relationship between habits and self-discipline in this chapter. He explains that habits are automatic behaviors that require minimal effort, making them crucial for maintaining self-discipline in the long run. The chapter explores the science behind habit formation and offers practical tips for creating and maintaining positive habits that support self-discipline. Chapter 3, Overcoming Procrastination and Resistance Procrastination and resistance are common obstacles on the path to self-discipline. Collins addresses these challenges in this chapter and provides actionable advice for overcoming them. He explores the psychological factors that contribute to procrastination and resistance and presents strategies to break free from these self-sabotaging patterns. The exercises included in this chapter aim to help readers develop a proactive mindset and overcome the urge to procrastinate. Chapter 4, Emotional Intelligence and Self-Discipline Emotional intelligence plays a significant role in developing self-discipline. Hollins explains that understanding and managing emotions is essential for making rational decisions and staying committed to long-term goals. This chapter introduces readers to the concept of emotional intelligence and provides exercises to enhance self-awareness emotional regulation, and empathy. Chapter 5, Strengthening Willpower and Self-Control Willpower and self-control are vital components of self-discipline. In this chapter, Hollins dives into the science of willpower and presents strategies to strengthen it. He highlights the importance of managing energy levels, setting realistic goals, and creating an environment conducive to self-control. The exercises in this chapter are designed to help readers build willpower and overcome the temptation to give in to immediate gratification. Chapter 6, Focus and Concentration for Enhanced Self-Discipline Maintaining focus and concentration is crucial for sustaining self-discipline. Hollins explores the impact of distractions and multitasking on self-discipline in this chapter. He provides techniques to improve focus, such as mindfulness practices and effective time management. The exercises in this chapter aim to enhance concentration and eliminate distractions, enabling readers to stay on track with their goals. Chapter 7, Maintaining Momentum and Motivation Keeping motivation high is a challenge faced by many individuals on the journey of self-discipline. In this chapter, Hollins addresses the importance of motivation and offers strategies to maintain momentum. He explores the power of intrinsic motivation, the role of rewards, and the significance of accountability. The exercises in this chapter help readers stay motivated and committed to their self-discipline practice. Chapter 8, Overcoming Obstacles and Bouncing Back Obstacles and setbacks are inevitable in any pursuit of self-discipline. Hollins emphasizes the resilience needed to overcome these challenges and bounce back stronger. This chapter provides strategies to maintain a positive mindset, reframe setbacks, and learn from failures. The exercises included aim to develop resilience and equip readers with the tools to overcome obstacles in their self-discipline journey. Chapter 9, Self-Discipline for a Successful Life. In the final chapter, Hollins discusses the broader implications of self-discipline in various areas of life. He highlights how self-discipline can improve relationships, career prospects, 
and overall well-being. The chapter concludes with a reminder that self-discipline is a lifelong practice and encourages readers to embrace it as a fundamental tool for personal growth and success. Key takeaways include, self-discipline is a skill that can be developed through consistent practice and effort. Habits play a crucial role in maintaining self-discipline and achieving long-term goals. Understanding and managing emotions are essential for making rational decisions and staying committed to self-discipline. Strengthening willpower and self-control is vital for overcoming immediate gratification and staying focused on long-term objectives. Maintaining focus and concentration is key to sustaining self-discipline. Motivation can be sustained through intrinsic motivation, rewards, and accountability. Resilience is essential for overcoming obstacles and bouncing back from setbacks. Self-discipline has wide-ranging benefits that extend to relationships, career success, and overall well-being. Self-discipline is a lifelong practice that requires continuous effort and commitment. Conclusion the Power of Self-Discipline by Peter Hollins serves as a comprehensive guide to developing self-discipline and harnessing its power to achieve personal and professional success. The book offers practical exercises and strategies to overcome procrastination, enhance emotional intelligence, strengthen willpower, maintain focus, and bounce back from setbacks. By following the five-minute exercises laid out in the book, readers can cultivate self-discipline, build good habits, and transform their lives for the better. Hollins' work serves as a reminder that self-discipline is not a trait one is born with, but rather a skill that can be learned and mastered with consistent practice and effort.